So welcome to Acton Community Supper and Food Pantry. I'm Donna Botari. I'm the director here of the Food Pantry. We are located at 235 Summer Road in Boxborough, Building 1, and let me take you on a tour. So for the first time when you come in, you'll need to fill out a registration form. So you'll come over to our check-in desk and we have a form here that the first time you come in, we ask for two pieces of identification. One that has a picture on it and then something else that shows where you live. So for example, a utility bill for, with your address and your name on it. So if you bring those two pieces of information with you the first time you come, We'll ask you a few other questions to qualify you. Um, you'll sign at the bottom that you're eligible for low-income food, and then we'll put your name on our list, and you'll be on our list for the whole rest of the year. And we do re-registrations at the beginning of every new year. All right, so there. And then once you're registered, you come in and you sign in, and there'll be a, a number, you'll have a number, and um, the person at the desk would give you a little paper or number saying that's so you know what when it's your turn so we call people in order of their numbers to come into the food pantry so once your number is called a volunteer will call you in and will take you with a shopping cart right and you'll come through our distribution area our little mini grocery store and the first section here is our household products and you're, you're able to take one, you choose one item from these three shelves, and then you also choose one item from the bottom. And then you'll come down the row here, and you'll see the items that you can choose from. This is a choice pantry, which um, allows you to take what you would like, and things that have, shelves that have no sign on them at all means there's no limit within reason. You can take what you need for your family for the week. So, you know, maybe one person might only need one box of pasta, but another person might need three, and that's perfectly okay. And then the next section here, you'll see I do have signs on some of these shelves. These are items that are a little harder for us to keep enough in stock for all of the families that come here every week. So we have baking items with a limit of one, fruit items with a limit of one for smaller families and two for bigger families, juice boxes. So you choose from there what you'd like. Come over here, we have beans, soup, and larger juice boxes. In this section over here, we have baby food and formula and miscellaneous baby items. So if you have a child in your family, you can choose items from there also. We have one other specialty area here, which is gluten-free items. If you have someone in your household who requires gluten-free food, you can choose from there. These items are usually donated to us from the community. We sometimes have coffee and tea. This week we do, we don't always have that. The items that are on the shelf, we always have those categories, but the specific items that you see there today may not be there next, next week. So things change from week to week depending on what donations we get in. Like we'll always have spaghetti sauce, it just not, may not always be this brand of spaghetti sauce. And then cereal and macaroni and cheese. And then after going around in that horseshoe shaped distribution area, we come over to the fresh vegetables and fruits. So these also will change every week. I can't guarantee that we'll have cantaloupe next week. It depends on what we're able to get. 
So we try to have two types of fruit every week and at least three types of vegetables every week. Over here, we have bread items that you can choose from, and depending on how much bread I get from the gro local grocery stores, um, this week we are only allowed to have one bread and a bagel. Sometimes it's two, it, it just depends on from week to week how much gets donated. This will be where the cold refrigerated items are going to be. So there will be, here I can, how about if I open this and show you? All right, we have eggs, we have half gallon milk, and we pretty much have um, milk and eggs every week. We sometimes have sliced cheese. And then, then we come over here and we have the fr meats. They're frozen meats that you generally are able to pick two any two that you'd like. And then last, we have desserts here, um, and you get to choose one of those. So once your cart is full and you've gone through all of our items for and chosen what you like, then you would go out back out to your car the way you came in, your food will stay with the cart and your volunteer will take it this way. And the next thing we always do with the food is we weigh how much um, we, we're giving out. That way we can report to the Greater Boston Food Bank or to anyone who asks us how much food we give out every week. We don't re record who we give it to, we just record how much it weighs and that way we can give a total estimate of how many pounds of food we give out every week or every month. And then the food comes over here, and you'll see the client is waiting over here. They've driven their car up in between the orange cones outside. And so now, uh, at the very beginning, you might remember that I gave you, a, you had a number. So when you come to pick up your bags, you would hand in your number so we would know these bags belong to person number 23. And so when you come, we have your ticket number 23, and we'll hand you your bags and you're all set to go. Another service that we offer here at the pantry is a clothes closet. We, our donations of used clothing are brought here by people throughout the community and we go through them, organize them by size and men's clothes, women's clothes and put them out here and when people are either waiting their turn at the food pantry or after they're done they can come in here look through the clothes and take some items that they see here that they like. And one other area we have here are, are our used books on the bookshelves. We have both adult books and children's books. Those are donated from people in the community and they're also picked up by a volunteer at the end of the Acton and the Boxborough library book sales, whatever they have left at the end, they donate to us. So we have a volunteer who goes over and picks them up. So we put them out here. People can take a few if they'd like. If they want to bring them back, they can. If they don't, that's fine also. Thank you for taking the tour of the Acton Food Pantry. Again, my name is Donna Botari. You can reach me by email at botari.donna at verizon.net. You can reach me by phone by calling the food pantry at 978-635-9295. You can leave a message if we're not here and we will call you back. You can also reach us through our website, which is actoncommunitysuffer.org. There are links on the contact part of that page. You can find out information about how to volunteer with us and how to be a client here. Our address again is 235 Summer Road in Boxborough, Building 1, and feel free to come by.